we love men's chairs. It's a great idea because it uh, assumes we have a lot of problems with, with mental illness. People have got stress, exactly. anxiety, and yeah. to me, this is the best system around yeah, to deal is. with that particular issue. A lot of problem with men. And the, the blokes really thrive on it. Not only, uh, well, they're mental issues. They have, some of them haven't got mental issues, but we've got one chap here. He lost his wife. Yeah. And he's he taught woodwork all his life. <laughs> and he is tickle pink to come every day or when we're open and do his thing and he turns out some really you'll be amazed we've got a 93 year old in there at the moment yeah on a wood lathe and he's an australian world champion australian champion wood turner wow he's they've had books written about him just like you i've got your book in my car people need community that's the biggest thing of course they do. It's not so much treatment of mental illness as such going to mental hospital, it's just people feel lonely, they're cut up, especially men. And people need time to talk to them. Yep. Exactly, right. that's it. Well, you know, we, we declared independence because of you guys. We put an April Fool stunt, which we said we, had, we are seceding from Victoria. Yeah. Um, it's just a bit of a joke and so forth, but we, we're selling knighthoods and memberships and all the funds are going straight to you guys because we think that's the best, it's the best system around to uh, help people with, with problems. We appreciate it very much, I tell you, because um, we get donations from deceased estates um, and a lot of it is old tools that they've, these chaps that have passed have used their life. So the money we get, we can then upgrade into a better yeah. tools. Um, uh, it just makes it easier, uh, as you know, as times progress. The tools are simpler and easier and easy to use and everything, yeah. Um, would you like to look in the shed? Okay. Yeah. We've got the shed built and all of inside is we've fitted it out ourselves. All right. Um, so the guys are very handy. We've got a chap out the back extending out the back here. Um, uh, he's, he had a building company, so he's an expert there. We've got teachers here, uh, woodwork teachers. All right. Um, come and we'll, we'll have a look around and explain things where we go. See the air purifiers? Yeah. We've got three there, and for me, that's the best investment we have. Um, it takes out all those masters that you don't see floating around. Right. And Good. Bendigo Bank uh, gave us $5,000 to buy those, so we appreciate that much. All this ducting for the, uh, all the shavings all through here, we did that ourselves. Um, we will see we've got a compressor over there that runs the line from here all the way down. That's a welding shed down the bottom. Yeah. So we can tap in with nail guns. Uh, our, our, we've got our power on every bench. Yep. Um, so it's good. We've got three drill stands here. One here, one there and one down there. Okay. We've got two bands saws. They're pretty old, but um, yeah, they work. Uh, two here and another one over there. Now each one, of, uh, I guided this, is um, instructions on um, how to use it. Um, we're big on safety. We make boards, we, 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 we go down to um, Coles yeah. and sell every Saturday and these are the sort of things that, um, that's the sort of thing that we make uh, to sell. Uh, you'll see more over there later. Jim, you know Jim Powell? You know Jim Slowing? I know about Jim Powell. Yeah, he's got his beard on there, so. Yeah, I heard all about it in your book, you're chafing up. Yeah. Uh, there's Jim. 93 and going strong. And this is a part here of our uh, same section. It's for steel turning and any metal work that's got to be done here. And, um, and then we've got all of the benches for the woodwork. And this is where we do all our boards of all different. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, these here, yeah. Jim, uh, now, um, Jeff Ernie, he wants all these to get to his people who buy his house. His house. We're in the middle, I'll show you later, of engraving these with this on, this logo on it. And um, he gets them out to his client. Yeah. And these. How much is a leaf for? Uh, this is our, our extraordinary man here. Can you come over, Dennis, please? So what? Do, what do you sell these for? How much? 
that? About 30 dollars, 35 dollars. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. And, and, and these, these here have been um, pressed and joined. Now they've got to go through now and, and be planed off, uh, ready to go. Um, and we do orders like these uh, of all sorts, and we do boards of all sorts. Yeah. Yeah, nice giveaway. Yeah, and we've got a chap over down in uh, Burwood who makes guitars and exports them all over the world. And this is some of the offcuts um, that he gives us, so we can just just get well. Actually, it's mean to it. I'm looking at it. So you know, it's really good quality stuff we've got. Uh, we make a lot of other things as well. This here that he's making is um, put your wine glass in and a bottle in the middle. Uh, yeah. So uh, over here, this chap making dog, dog bowl holders. We sell those, and they're well with those. Oh, yeah. This is this is a this one took a long time to make. Wow, that is very uh, intricate. Every it's beautiful. Yeah. Everything here, these have all got to be exactly the same thing. Otherwise, we're pushing against them; they wouldn't join. So. It had to be very exact to put it all together. Yeah. That's an end grain. What we do is take the end piece, cut it off, stick it on that one. All individual pieces. Yeah. You can, we can. And I. I've been asked to do it, and I've been, well, I haven't been to the year yet, but I'm, when we get round to it, we can make chess boards. Oh, make a beautiful one. Yeah. Make a beautiful chess board. Yeah, yeah. We will do it, uh, but yeah. This way, this is full of different tools of all. Let's see, if you want to pliers, no, oh, no, but let's see. See, it's full of piles, um, full of screwdrivers. Every drawer's got these pop rivets and everything down through there. Uh, this is for sharpening chisels, this one. Yeah. We've got others up there where Cliff sharpens his uh, chisel with little bit on one of them. This is where we take the electrical tools. Do you want to go in there and have a look? Yeah. There we go. That is an amazing selection. So, and this is uh, here's, here's one thing that's been made here that we make. These are bird feeders, and um, you can just clean clean them out with that. Take that out and clean it. And we sell quite a few of those. They're very popular because the birds can get to it either side if they want to. Where's your outlet? Where do you sight through? Coles. Or oh, any any. We 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 rely on. Um, we go to the Kilside Festival. Uh, we go to one or two at Churnside. And apart from that, we just every second week down at Coles. I've never seen any of this in the supermarket. Have you mean the local supermarket here? Oh no, Cole, what I mean by Coles, we outside of Coles. Oh, outside We of have Coles. a barbecue. All right. And we have a stall outside Coles. When do you run that? Uh, well, if you want to come down to Coles down here, we'll be there on Saturday. And you'll Saturday. see and you'll see all our wares there, and we've got quite a bit. Yeah. Right. So here's the rest of other bits and pieces, like putties and things like this, um, that we've got up here. Um, and the best thing is the council had a heap of solar panels from yeah. their old council building. All right. We got 50 solar panels, so that's what that inverter is for. So we run everything for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Love solar panels. Yeah. Yeah, I've got some. I've got all, all my house and the office too. Yeah. That's some of our wood we collect. Where'd you get that from? Anywhere. Uh, again, uh, people that have passed on, uh, they've had it stuck in their garages. And uh, the ladies might say, do you want some wood? And we're always looking for wood. Yeah. Uh, we had a, chop, a chap come over here from the Men's Set Association and said that over in Dandenong, they can't get wood. But really? Yeah. So uh, I'll just... Uh, have a look in there if you want to. Sorry. Yeah. 
So we're very pleased that um, we've got these containers nice and dry um, to put all this, this in. Uh, we've got down here is our paint shed where um, uh, on a hot day we can just lift that up and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment but just watch your back to yeah. Now in here is our, what the, our wares we sell. Uh, a lot of different things. Some of the things we make, Jim, different sorts of things. Peter, I'll show you through. All right. Different sorts of like yeah. bird feeders. Go, go yeah. up here. Okay, Step up. Which yeah, we mate. make. Um, Peter, up there, go. Awesome boxes. Yeah, Sorry. Up there and further up there, some good stuff there. Under the blanket, under the sheets. Just, yeah. What do you think of a little toilet there, Jim? Just throw your head. What do you think of this little, this there? Oh, that much, yeah. It's even got a toy dunny in there. <laughs> Real backyard, old style backyard dunny. Yeah, so that's a fishing rod holder. That's for kids. That's for kids for putting on the bench. Yeah, they're, they're mum's cooking. When they're about four years old. And they can play in there. Oh, wow. And very, very popular, those. And they, the kids are allowed, then able to get up and with mum at the hot bench yeah. on it, you know. And under the one you put it on, Pete, is yep. that double one. Yep. This is a potato and onion. Hang on, I'll get it up. Onions and potatoes. Yeah. Put in just in your kitchen along the side of your bench and help yourself for what you want. That's another one of the new uh, models we've been making on and yeah. we've had a lot of inquiries over those. Very really beautiful. They are. Yeah. Very well done, aren't they, Jim? Yeah. Um, these here are step, step ladies. Um, like you, that falls out. Through step. Don't tell me it's going to a bit. Yeah, you step on that for a two, you know. Yeah. Um, there's a few of those. There's possum boxes, there's rosella boxes, and yeah. And this is a picnic set. Oh, well, you can put on your table. I'll bring it out, it's easier. And you can see here what it is salt and pepper um, with your mustard and chili sauce or, or sauce. Um, different types of bird food is where you put an apple in there, yeah. hang it on the tree and the birds can feed from either side and pick at the apple. Sorry. Just different colours like footy colours. Yeah. Yeah, they're really good stuff. Um, sorry to interrupt there in front of you. But this is another type of bird feeder that we have. Um, there's lots of stuff here that... Is this it? Yeah, here's another. This is a very popular one. Oh, yeah, I've shown Jim that one. Oh, have you? Yeah. The Perspex. Yeah. yeah. And you lift it. It's back to front, unfortunately. You lift yeah. it up and you can feed in that way. It's all locked in at the moment. Oh. There it is. <coughs> it's got a little roof on it. You can clean it. You can lift the Perspex out, clean that as well. <coughs> and the seed just falls out and the birds just sit on the edges. Yeah. Very popular one, that one. It's very neat and tidy. And it yeah, looks good. I love the look of it. Yeah, the That's effect. Good. The really, roof, really yeah. good. Peter, this is Peter. Oh, yeah, you met most of these guys, didn't you? So, yeah. This is Peter, the, he's the one that. Hi, Peter. Who's the yeah. he's, he's the one that's. Um, uh, his his um, part has been. Um, his father owned an uh, engineering. Uh, no, a building, building company. Building company. Yeah. So he's the one with all the ideas, and uh, this was uh, up to about where that end of that green bench is. We've extended it um, because we've got those trailers that have been donated to us from again Bendigo Bank and then and the van. So we're trying to get it all fitted up. Um, it's a bit of been a bit of a rush to get all that we're making shelves here. That's to put along the wall to put all the timber in, and then we can get the van in here. Here's some of the wood that we got from the deceased estate. Now that sort of timber you can't buy anymore. It was the hardwood. Oh, that's softwood here. That's, softwood. that's hardwood there. Yeah. Now that's that's probably about 15 foot. I've got to go out of feet inches. That's probably about 15 foot. Oh, it's probably more than 15 foot. But you you cannot buy any wood like that. They don't cut it like that anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we put a, a split system in. Uh, we got a grant for that. Uh, we're big on getting grant. This over here yeah. is uh, our engraver. 
He has been working on it this morning. I don't know what he is now. That's the sort of thing that um, it does. No, he's yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so tell me, how do people get involved in, in a men's shed? What do they just go down and inquire? Yeah, we have these brochures on the on the table. Yeah. Um, with um, on the front, it's got um, what days: Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. What where we are and what time we're open. So Mural Park Men's Sheds open Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 8:30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yeah, that's us. All right. And that's the information that we, um, uh, you know, about um, what we're about. Yeah. And what about the clubhouse? People want to play chess and those kind of things too. When when are that? Oh, this is another story. Uh, I'll just show you something else quickly. What we're doing. There's a lot of people doing it. Yeah. We also have a veggie garden. Now, right. Mr. Ying looks after our veggie garden. Now, at the moment, we've only got four plots, but there's a chance that we'll get more. Um, but see, now we've got those sleepers for nothing, and the soil, no, the soil got for nothing. Steel, yeah. steel pipe for the so, um, that's it's just another around. branch of what we do. But this is kind of our computer room where if we, we've got a, a chap here that does, as an IT specialist. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, if he wants, to, if anyone wants to learn how to do computers, we've got computers in there that they can use. So this is our little patch, you might say. So if people are interested, just come down. Yes, during opening hours. Or yeah. if they, I'll well, give them a brochure. Yep. And uh, where we are and everything else, and and they'll come in, and then I'll give them a tour through. This is our men's shed membership pack. All oh, right. And this is, this is what they get. Yeah when they want to join up and that's, there's questions and answers and things and what we have there is a medical sheet what they fill out what sort of tablets and everything else they are yeah we have a, a emergency box up there where if someone does fall ill yeah. um, we get it out and have it ready for the ambulance people when they arrive so is there any cost to being a member of it? fifty dollars fifty bucks what to join or annually or what annually at fifty dollars a year yeah yeah Okay, and this sort of kind of thing they're interested in. Yeah, yeah. Well, th this is right, and this is where we get our ideas on what sort of avenues we need to take and what have you. Now, I'll, uh, when you... So you've got all kinds of interests, like antiques. Yeah, um, yeah. Card, board games, computer, first aid, gardening. Yep. Genealogy, gem craft, guest speakers, the health issues. Yeah. Wow, a lot of stuff there. Well, this is the this is, um, thing that's... Um, we like to cater for, you know. I've just made this uh, for uh, rural bark traders. It's right. for the kids to put their envelopes in for uh, what they want for Christmas. Ah. And yeah, uh, I've got to put a little thing on top. It's not quite finished yet. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of thing we do for the community. Um, we also sponsor uh, Fred Hollows and cancer, the Cancer Council. Um, so we don't only just keep our money for ourselves, uh, we do. And also St Margaret's Church up here. Yeah. Um, we do work, they, they come down with trolleys to fix because they hand out food and the trolleys get broken and they bring them down so we fix them for nothing and that's just, just a, you know, it's a community thing. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now that, sh that section there would be for that alone. Uh, the wood and that stays up in there, the steel. Yeah. Uh, it's to try and cater for more people with different needs. So yeah. you, get, you get crowded out here? Oh no, not so much. We've got a, we've got a limit of 50 at the moment. Um, but then there's people that join but you don't see them. But, you know, uh, the active list would probably be 25, 30, I suppose. All right. And um, so, um, yeah. But if someone wants to, well, we haven't got the facility, but if they do, um, we can make it more because that area there, they can have their own coffee down there or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but that's, that's, what I, that's what I'd like to do later on. I've got the plans drawn. I've got... Some estimates that are in the in the ute there uh, of what it's going to cost, um, but I haven't gone as far as uh, getting a permit yet because we haven't got the money. But apart from that, well, COVID struck at the time too, and 
Uh, also, there's talk of inflation, and I'm thinking I don't want to really start something and not be able to finish it because yeah. I'm a bloke. If you want to start something, I like to see a result. You yeah. know, Fair enough. I'm very much when after reading your book, book, I'm very much along your line of doing it. It's yeah, it's it's, it's right. uh, yeah. We've got Laurie over here. Um, he's also got an offside, but he should be here today, but he's not. Um, he worked at Box Hill Tate for 35 years, wasn't it? 31. 31. He was a teacher, woodwork teacher. Um, as, as I said before, Peter, his father had a, 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 a building, building, and he did a lot of... Six brothers. Did a, did a lot of big buildings, schools and things. Tony, I don't know your background. No. Manufacturing. Mate. Manufacturing. All right. What's yours? Postman. Postman. All right. We're, and no, yeah, we'll get going. Probably there. driver. Yeah. And Dave, what was yours? Well, it must be the same as Tony because I've, I've been working with him for 20 years. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, over here, Jim, this is an interesting chap up here. Mm -hmm. He does our, all our logging of uh, what we sell, put prices on. And um, he does, uh, he puts numbers on everything. I like the business line. Yes, he has. He's the one. He used to sell Amiga, uh, uh, Rolex. 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 <laughs> Rolex. <laughs> yeah. All right. All the top brand watches. And um, he's got a head straight on for business, believe me. Lance, he had his own business down here. He was a cabinet maker. Um, he he Sorry. gave it away because he said the cost of everything and waiting time to get timber. It just didn't work out. Uh, he might tell you different, but that's how no, I, was... no, that's, I had it for 30 years and I just had it up basically. Uh, so I got out basically five months ago. Uh, that's from the indication I'm getting off the supplies and i still, the supply chain is still no better off. It's still in uh, dire trouble, so how long before they get out of it? Yeah, that's why anyone's guess. We've got building going on, it's just so hard to get them. Yeah. 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 We've got Ed Slinger down here. He's the teacher at. Um, you taught there for quite a while, didn't you? Merrill Bark. Yeah, Merrill Bark Tech. 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. So he's a woodwork teacher, so he's very handy with his hands. Um, now, this is a chap here. I treasure. I treasure. He's our, <laughs> he's our treasurer. He does an outstanding job, believe me. Outstanding. Now, he's also. He, he's in the um, little steam. What do you you tell us? Moon and Railways up here at Murrumba. <laughs> Kalora. Yeah, yeah. Now Cliff here is 93 and looking younger than ever. He's the Australian woodwork champion, a wood turning champion. He's had books written about him and everything. Right? You're not going to say much, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Very humble he is. Rob, Rob, what would you like to say about yourself? Carpenter builder. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Now, not doing it anymore. No. He, no. he had a. He had a going to be retired. No. Yes, I know. I had a big car crash, so that was the end of that. No more work. Yeah. Knocked up bad. Yeah. Still having uh, operations. Yes. Frank's our electrician, and um, does a bloody good job too. Yeah. And Peter, what were you want to say about yourself? Oh, nothing much. A bit of um, jack of all trades. Uh, motor mechanic. Bus driving for 25 years um, and involved in the men's shed, which I thoroughly enjoy and love. Yeah. Mm. And everyone here does too. Best because, thing I've ever, yeah. best thing I've ever done. Got a good bunch of guys here. They are. Very good. Yeah. Do anything for you and it's a top place to work for. This is our number one group we'd like to support because we see in gyms so many problems, especially men being isolated. Yes. And a lot of what we try and do, and we, in fact, we've realised from the big, from the beginning that that successful franchising is not just about teaching people; it's about setting up a community, getting mm. people together in meetings and stuff. Yeah. We've seen how important that is. So, yeah. I, love, I love this concept, just building, because men can be very isolated. Yes, yes, yes. Now, also, we had a group in here on a Thursday that happened last Thursday, Frank, didn't it? Yeah. Um, that, you, do you want to talk about it, Frank? You, you've got a better understanding. Yeah, that's it. It's men, men who are depressed come and have a cup of tea with two ladies that look after them. All right. That's, um, that's that, at night. So they came from 6.30 till 9 o'clock. I open up for them and leave them to it. On a Thursday? On a Thursday. Every first and third Thursday of the month. Okay. So I'm pleased that <coughs> we've got this facility for them. 
to to have a chat and um, so they, yeah. they have about twelve to fifteen people come on a Thursday night and all sit around and have a chat and work out their problems. And yeah, and we don't charge them, but they give us a donation. But yeah, it's happy just to have um, somewhere to come. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot of studies have been done. They say the number one, one of, the, one of the most important things to being happy and healthy in old age is just having a sense of community, bond to people. Yeah, somewhere to go. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think it's run by the MS Society. Yeah. Of people on their own yeah. uh, that are widows or widowers or whatever, just to keep them uh, informed and someone to talk to. And that's, I, I get the benefit of that, and that's brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I've got to admit, you guys all leave me in the shade. I'm a hopeless handyman. In fact, you know, anything done around the house, my wife does it. She's a builder, so. <laughs> I can mow a lawn pretty good. <laughs> yeah, That's it. That. That's as far as I get. I read in the book that it had to be a nice straight line. <laughs> yeah, straight line, pick up clean, do the edges, do the gardening, and dig over the... I'm, I'm really good at that stuff. It's when it comes to anything handy, hopeless. But you do the veggie garden at the back. You've still got on your farm, Alex. So maybe you want some of that. Yeah, I've got, I've got some nice veggie on my farm. I've got, I've got some plus here. I'm growing potatoes and carrots and oh, peas yeah, and all kinds of things. Of garden I enjoy it. The gardening I love, actually. We've got them out Yeah, I saw that. That's a little bit... <laughs> I, do, I do a huge one. I was up there at the weekend. I was digging potato benches and all kinds of things. Really fun. I love, I love, I love being outside. I love gardening. Yeah. Getting a bit dirty. Yeah, with your very hands. dirty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got the dirt in my fingernails. I like yeah. it. Mm. What we'll do is we'll make your chest board and we'll send it up and and you can have a look at it. That would be great. We'll yeah. Love, love a good chest board. Really yeah. nice. Some of those wooden stuff you did in there was fantastic. I love yeah. um, nice big chest board. You'll do a little bit of stuff. Really all right. That's great. Anyway, yeah. great to meet you all. And uh, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>